Okay, welcome to another Blender tutorial. We're once again working on rigging or bones, armatures. We're going to be getting this robot here and making him move around, um, giving him a complete skeleton on both sides. Okay, to get this robot, if you want to just um, zip into the Aparimu Kodge website, www.aparimu.score.nz slash blender.htm, click on that little button there, and it'll take you through to the video tutorial page here. And at the very, very bottom, you'll see a little rigging robot blend. Great. We're going to be moving pretty fast through this. So um, um, hopefully we'll be able to get the entire thing rigged by the end of this 10 minute session. Okay. First of all, we need to be able to see straight onto the robot. View. Front. I could press the number pad number one. Ooh, okay. I'm also going to make sure the view is in orthographic mode which means looking straight on instead of seeing things disappearing into the distance and as you can see my robot is pretty small I rolled my mouse button wheel middle mouse button I'm now pressing shift middle mouse button and dragging my robot so he's in the center of view I'm going to go to right view now because I'm going to be using that a bit as well see if he's in the right place not quite shift middle mouse button drag him back into view and that way we can see the side nicely as well. Okay, so I'm pressing my um, my number pad keys now. Number pad number one. That's the number pad at the right hand side of your computer. And here we have the robot. Right. Shift A. We're adding an armature. The armature will always start off where you've got the 3D cursor, that funny little um, red and white circle thing. And we're just going to drag them up into the center of the robot. We can't see them. So like before, in the previous tutorial, we're going to turn on the x-ray so we can see them inside the body. We're going into edit mode, or pressing the tab key. We're going to drag, or grab, press the G key, and we're going to drag the bone so he goes up to the about there. I want to make sure he goes straight up, really important here. So I'm going to press the Z key to make sure he goes straight up. And then, I'm going to press the E key to extrude some more bones out. Let's extrude a neck up. Okay, so I'm going to press the Z key, make sure it goes straight up, and then I'm going to press E again, and extrude straight up using the Z key. And there, I've, you might have noticed the bone stuck at the top, that's just so I can see him from outside the body at times, that's all good. I'm clicking back into here, E, I'm going to extrude, um, it's like a shoulder part there. And then I'm going to press E again extrude the arm, the top of the arm, all the way up to there. E, all the way up to there. Now I'm being pretty rough here. Um, and you'll see when I go up to the side that things aren't too hot with my rig at the moment. Um, but we'll fix that again shortly. Okay, now I'm going to get this bone here. I'm going to um, duplicate it. Shift, I right clicked it by the way to select it. Shift D to duplicate it. That is going to become my leg. Uh, drag him down to where the leg is, grab the end of it, and drag him, and so he's pointing straight downwards into, until he gets to the knee, press the E key again, drag it down to the foot, and now I'm going to flip into the side view so we can fix the claw and get everything um, into the right place. Okay, side view. You'll see everything's a little bit skewed right now. I'm just going to go through and um, and drag things in the right places. Oh, what did I sleep with there? Okay, I'm going to go through, press the G key, grab him, drag him back, select that, G key, drag him back. I'm going to move the, the back of the body, so that I'm the bottom of the body bone. I just might just leave him there. Top of the leg bone, grab, drag him into the middle of the leg, grab him, middle of the leg, grab him, middle of the leg. While I'm here, and I'm going to go E and extrude out a foot. Done. Okay. Neck, grab him, drag him back into the right place. And I might just leave that. Oh no. Just get him nice and smooth through. There we go. I'm going to actually get the whole thing there as well. Right click the, um, the, the bottom of that bone. Side view. 
and grab him and just drag him back into the place as well. Right. Grab that one. Side view. Grab him, drag him into place. Now what we could have done here is actually set up a whole lot of different screens for different views and just pop backwards and forwards between them. That's all good too. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're trying to keep things as simple as possible. Right, now we're going to get some claws. So view. Here's the, um, the bottom of the hand here. E. E. Claw number one. E. E. Claw number two. Right, cool. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'll show you something. See this little name box right here? If you click on that, you'll see all the bone names. What I'm going to do very, very quickly, I'm going to pause this um, after I start doing it, and I'm going to start naming all these bones. You can give them any name you want. Okay, for example, this bone here. Um, its name at the moment is just plain boring old bone. So we're going to call it body and press enter. We're going to call this one here shoulder. And what I'm going to do very, very importantly is I'm going to put a dot left for the left hand side of the body in there. And we're going to do that all the way through. I'm going to pause this and I'll bring it back to here in a second. Okay, here we go. I've gone through and named them head, shoulder, humerus, uh, ulna, claws, femur, all that stuff there. And I'll put a little L after each one. You can name them anything you want. Okay, that's all good. Right, the next part we're going to do is we're going to go through and duplicate this so that this part of the skeleton here that we've spent all this time naming is going to be mirrored on the other side. So, here goes. We first of all need to go into front view, like we were before. Oops, see. Let's try that again. Front view, like we were before. Uh, I'm just going to scroll out of it so we can see everything. And I'm going to go through and select, press A for and I'm going to box select everything on this side. Okay, missed that one there, so I'll just shift select that. I'm going to go control, sorry, sorry, shift D to duplicate, and then I'm going to press escape. I'm not going to move them anywhere. They're right sitting on top of the other bones right now. Right, I need to move into, um, into this mode down here called 3D cursor. I can click on that, actually I already was, as you can see. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that the 3D cursor is in the very, very center of everything. So I'm going to go through and press Shift C to center it all. Now, there's some weird stuff there. That's okay though. We can handle that. Next step. Here it goes. I'm going to press Control M to mirror everything. Now, notice nothing's happened because after I've done that, I've got a mirror in, in the X axis. So I press X to mirror it over. Done. Once that's done, I just press enter to say yes, yes, I definitely want to mirror it in the X axis. Now, really important in the next part. While the new bones are selected, these ones right over here, I'm going to press the W key. It brings up this little special thing here and go flip names. You'll notice here all the names now being flipped over from left side to right side. Ulnus, sorry, Ulna right side, Ulna left side. We haven't quite finished yet. We've got a lovely little skeleton here. Oops, I'm going to flip that back into normal mode of um, individual origins. Okay, so now we're circling around um, the thing that I've got selected. Right, and I'm going to go through, just go all and zoom in to that. Right, so this thing here will not move by itself. We must go through and go into object mode select the body, then select the skeleton, I shift selected to do that, so right click and then right click again while holding the shift key down, then I go control P and I'm going to today, like before, put automatic weights on. Now in theory, if I now go into pose mode like we were before, I should be able to move the parts of the body around and the arm and stuff will move. Woohoo! And the side here. Oh, excellent. So it is successful. We'll be doing other stuff with our rigged robot very shortly. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was successful and I included everything I needed to. And we'll see you for the next tutorial.